Hello. In this video, we'll talk about the SSL certificate. The certificate is optional for filtering, but it is required to display blocked page notifications over HTTPS. Without the certificate, browsers will display an SSL error when users attempt to visit a blocked page. We can demonstrate this by opening a browser and attempting to type ESPN.com. You can see that I have this site blocked in my policy and I get a blocked page. But over HTTPS, if I try the same site, there is a browser error. The certificate will be required to display a notification here because we are effectively falsifying the domain in order to provide a blocked page. Your computer needs to trust that falsification. This is a technical requirement of all filtering providers. If you use the Windows user agent, it will install the SSL certificate for you automatically, so there's no need to do it on your part. Also, if you have an Active Directory environment, you can install the certificate using group policy. And we have a separate video which guides you through that. For everyone else, if you only have a few computers or you wish to script the installation of the SSL certificate, you simply need to download the certificate and run a single line in the command prompt. Let's go ahead and do that now. In the dashboard, I'm going to navigate to Tools SSL Certificate. I'm going to click Download Certificate. I'm going to click Save to put this in my Downloads folder. Now that that's in my Downloads folder, I'm going to click the documentation link and then I'm going to scroll down and find the Installing on Windows section. I'm going to copy this line for the command prompt. Now I'm going to hit the Start button and type CMD. I'm going to right click and open the command prompt as Administrator. Assuming that the file is in the Downloads folder, all you have to do is paste in the command line and hit Enter. The certificate will be pulled from that folder and installed into the Trust Store in Windows. For the Firefox browser, there's an additional step in the help documentation to reference the file from this Certificate Trust Store for Firefox. For other platforms such as mobile, you will typically download the certificate file and browse to it. Android and iOS will prompt you for installation when clicking on the file and you'll be good to go. That's all that's required, and you can now display blocked pages over HTTPS. Thank you for watching.